Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm doing this for one person, and I don't think it's going to help him. He's got 60, and he also asked me not to use a real name, so I just made up some names because they're doing it for some military. So he had a a name like you'd use in print merge, but he's got him called name one, name two, name three, and then plank holder. I don't know what plank is, but I looked at his list, and there's like captains and lieutenants and uh, I've been unlucky or lucky enough to never be in the military so I don't really know what the plank part is but I drew a box around the names and you could just take that name away sorry about that grab have your list and pour it into Corel and you know turn it in and I do not have that font which is Baskerville, I actually have something close, but not exactly. So just grab your name, hold down your shift key, and grab your box and go CE. That put it right in the middle where your name was. So grab your name, hold down the shift. Now you're gonna have to do this 60 times, but print merge isn't gonna work on a jig that's previous. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to use a previous jig. I did not take away the name. And also, you got to remember, if you're just printing these or engraving these, you don't have to worry about this red line. But that's two keystrokes. And it's pretty easy to replace that. Now, the other one, and it doesn't matter where they are on the page, just CE, center equally and center it you know, up and down and horizontal is what it's doing. So that's how you could replace the names. Now, if you had, let's say on your list you have 10 captains. If you, you, you've got them in a, a CSV file, you could arrange them by that plank so you could have all the captains. And let's say you had 10 captains. And then this isn't as bad as some people think because uh, he's only running four at a time. And he also had four more over here, and I, I had some trouble with your, your worksheet. I couldn't get anything to work. I couldn't get anything to pick. But what you could do if you had ten captains, you can use find and replace, edit, find and replace text, replace, and I'm going to rete uh, replace find a plank holder with captain and hit replace all, replace all. In that short of time, it put the 10 captains where they needed to be. Now, what I've always thought, you know, some people say, well, that's going to take a long time. Well, if you're only running four at a time, and, and, and don't let me forget this again, uh, you're evidently using, he's using a, a template, so that box really isn't there. He's not going to cut out. He's going to put something in here you know, using it as a jig. So as long as you don't do a combination job, it won't cut this out. <clears throat> when you're running a job like this, you have time to set up the next job. Just move these out of the way and start over. And, and before I would even do anything, uh, I would have all this and I would, let's get rid of my captain and my names I would control D and make a duplicate and just put those off to the side and make you 60 of them. And if you use the nudge factor, you could be working on this in case you had a problem and you had to rerun this. You could delete that one, change this one, and delete it back into your jig. Well, I didn't, I didn't do the right thing. I should have, I thought I nudged him out of the way. Let me do that again. Control D, I need to set my duplicate distance on like 10. Let's back up here completely, I don't want to copy. So let's change our no duplicate, well let's just say how big this is. Well it's eight inches, to get it off the page it's gonna have to be at least 10, so I'm gonna go 11. Control D and make a duplicate. And now they're 11 inches off. So when you run this job, you could, and I would not delete them. I just put them off the page. And then you could, while that job is running, 
you could have this one ready to go and just nudge it and it'll be right back in your holder and so on and so on for the for all of them. Now, print merge would be the easiest thing to use on this, but you'd also have to have these names just name and not name two or three. I understand what you're doing, but well, I kind of do. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.